So here's uh, my last video I talked about. I had a couple of low spots, and uh, <clears throat> so I epoxied in a couple of patches of four millimeter ply and sanded that off, and then this is, I put CPES on it. And so just to kind of show you what I did to know they were low, I just ran a straight edge and I could just, and I ran it, I could slide it up and down and I could see where the spot was low in this part in the back. So now it's, after sanding it, it's flush, real close to it. And the same thing on this side. So this side, I had a straight edge, I can hold this. And uh, the low spot, of course, was centered right here. And when I ran this up, this spot would, of course, open up with a straight edge and it would close again. And I got a little aggressive on the sander right here. I was hitting that spot and I didn't know it. So I'll fill that in with thick and epoxy when I put the piece in. Actually, put the piece in there. I, I shouldn't need a patch there. So anyway, it actually worked good. So that's a good way to uh, fix a low spot if it's, you know, fairly low. The, this was probably two millimeters or so in this spot. So that's pretty low. Thick and epoxy would be hard to... Put on there and keep it up it would sag and so that's something you can do and i've never i hadn't noticed any spots so far along here and um so, so anyway uh, that's one method that works pretty well but you got to be careful with the sander of course when you're sanding that down to get it flush again don't overdo it and i ended up with my i used my belt sander at first and then by hand to finish it